on October 28, 2013, a YouTube user by the name of Josh Highcliffe dropped the video, which has caused controversy in the Bigfoot community to this day. Is this video really the best Bigfoot video ever? Check it out next on Squatch D TV Deep Dive. So on October 13th, 2013, this is the description of the video as he downloaded it. Here is exactly what I've seen. I'm not sure what it is, but can someone please tell me? Is there a person who can do video analysis or something? I got scared and ran away. I wish I stayed to keep taking the movie. Date, October 24th, 2013. Where? About nine miles west of Tunica, Mississippi, on my hunting property. Time, about 6 p.m. I was out hunting hogs, just sitting in a part of the swamp. I have heard them before. It is not too far from a road. I was wearing hunting camo and just sitting dead still, waiting for it to get dark, because that's when the hogs come out. I hear a noise behind the tree I was sitting on. I thought it was the hogs. When I got around, I could not believe my own two eyes. There was this huge black thing crouched by a dead cypress about 50 yards away. I thought it was a hog, but saw these big shoulders and head upright with hands. It looked like it was digging out the stump. My first instinct was to run. I did not even think of shooting. Then I know no one will believe me. It was like everything slowed down. I was scared. I took out my iPhone and started videotaping it. I guess I pushed the record button twice because it stopped blinking red, but I pushed it again. I hear a truck driving down the road, and the thing stood up. I was trying to be dead quiet. When it stood up, I could not control myself and ran. That stump was huge, and I guess the sucker was seven feet tall. I am a hunter, and I am pretty darn good at guessing size. That's no bear. I don't know what to think. If someone can tell me what it is, or if someone was trying to prank me, I don't want to go back on my land. This is the first movie I have ever put on YouTube. The video looks better on my phone and computer. I've heard stories of Skunk Ape and Honey Island Swamp Monster from these parts, but never thought about it being real ever. Has anyone seen anything like this in Mississippi? So the first step in an investigation is your information and fact-finding. We know who filmed the item. It was Josh Highcliffe. He allegedly filmed the Bigfoot occurred nine miles west of Tunica, Mississippi. It occurred on October 24th, 2013 at approximately 6 p.m. And it was filmed while he was allegedly hunting hogs. Now, usually in the first step, what I do is I look at the weather data. Is it consistent with the video? And it is in this case. Okay, so next thing we take a look at is the map. And he said it was approximately nine miles west of Tunica, Mississippi, which would put him right on the Mississippi-Arkansas state line. Very interesting. But, you know, he could be off, so it's very safe to assume that, yes, he was in Mississippi. So nothing big here. Now, he makes a weird statement. I have never heard someone say before. He states he was wearing hunting camo. In the video, we have a frame or two as he runs away of old military camo that's not hunting camo folks one would expect something like mossy oak or the like next is investigation step two victimology this is where we look at the alleged victim in a incident crime etc so what we really need to know is who really is josh highcliffe as we can see from his youtube page his account was actually created the same day he uploaded the video. And to date, there has been no other activity by Josh Highcliffe on the page. Not responding to comments, not posting new videos, nothing. We find Josh Highcliffe also on Facebook. And coincidentally, his page too was created 
on February 28th, the same day of the video upload to YouTube. As a private investigator, I get a lot of cases that deal with social media research, usually due to cheating spouses or perhaps a romance scam going on. And this is a big flag right here, is that his actual cover picture he used is actually been swiped from the Wikipedia page for Lake Itasca, which is in Mississippi. So I find that a little bit suspicious here. So when we can't foster anything out of social media, we turn out the big guns and we go to our private investigation databases. And our private investigation databases showed nothing as if Josh Highcliffe doesn't exist. So in one last ditch effort, we checked the Tunica County Assessor's Office to see if a Josh or a Joshua Highcliffe ever owned any land in the county. And that search came up empty as well. So what we did do is find through a Google search, Josh Highcliffe's name, but not as a person, but as a character in a 2014 television series called Beasts of the Bayou, which only aired three or four episodes. And the character was played by a gentleman by the name of Richard Lewis Bosworth. Hey, if you like what we've done so far, consider smashing that like button. It really helps us with the algorithm. And stay tuned at the end of this video for a special message. So this all makes sense now, why we couldn't find Josh Highcliffe, because he doesn't exist. He is a character, and this video was created for a television program. In fact, if they used an actor to portray Josh Highcliffe, why did they say we need to blur his face? Take a listen. Josh agreed to be on camera, but for reasons of privacy, he requested that his face not be shown. And of course, in the true aha moment... A gentleman by the name of Mike Kuehler reached out to Richard Bosworth, the actor who appeared in The Beast of the Bayou. And what Richard had to say was, yes, this is BS stage stunt for the show. Josh Highcliffe is a made-up character I portrayed in that Beast of the Southern show. There you have it. This is a hoax. And some people will just refuse to see the truth. For example, this Redditor stated the video dropped and got a lot of attention. The Swamp Beast producers decided to capitalize on it to add an air of realism. They couldn't find Highcliffe because Highcliffe was a pseudonym, so they hired an actor to play him. The actor doesn't necessarily know all of this. He's not a Swamp Ape enthusiast. He's just an actor getting a check. Years later, someone from out of the blue starts pestering him with leading questions. This is in your published exchange. He gives a dismissal with no additional information, telling you what you wanted to hear. Look at his tone. Well, I disagree. First of all, I dislike it when people talk like they know something. And in this case, he's acting like he knows. This is what the producers decided to do. This is just far out left field. Let me make up a story to counter this. But in fact, and I know this because I've only been on like 17 different productions and have produced a couple of other shows as well that production companies will not arbitrarily use videos in a story without a release from the owner. You need to get a signed release. Why? Because these companies are in the business of making money from their content. And if they take somebody's video or somebody's story and use it, including their name, guess what? They can be sued and sued big time. As well could be the network that it airs on, which in this case, it would be Discovery. So, no, this does not make any sense at all. It is not a valid thought line. Take it from this real-world investigator of over 35 years when I see a YouTube channel created the same day a video drops and there's no activity afterwards, not even commentary. When I see database searches that do not exist, that the person does not exist, there's no property records. When I see a Facebook page created and there's no interaction and that's on the same day the video dropped and there's no interaction afterwards or anything after that 
and they're using stock photography. And then the Google search, which goes back to an actor on a television show. And that television show says, we're going to hide this person's identity. This all smells really bad. And then finally we have the actor himself state that the whole thing was BS. It was just a stunt for a television show called The Beast of the Bayou. There you have it, folks. In a nutshell, this is a hoax. Not anywhere close to the best Bigfoot footage ever. Folks, this is your old pal, Squatch Detective. Have a great rest of your week. And we'll catch you live Sunday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern on Squatch DTV. Hey, folks, I want you to consider joining the channel as a member. It's a great way to support great Bigfoot research and an honest channel out there. And it starts at only 99 cents. And already we've announced the two new shows we're putting on there. Plus, you're going to get a lot more. And you're going to see me uncensored as well. So anyway, folks, consider it. Think about it. You have three levels. The highest level is only $4 a month to become a channel sponsor. So a lot of great perks. Check it out. We'll catch you all later.